Well, folks, you know who this is, Isaac David Brigman. And there are times I come to you as a normal guy just to talk to y'all about subjects. But right now, I'm on a subject that bothers me a lot. People who basically get an attitude with you over nothing in the world that if they let you do what you were going to do, they would see that you would help them out in a way because you would replace anything that you used of theirs if they needed you to or wanted you to, but they wouldn't let you because they're too busy getting upset for something. And I didn't get that understood why people would be that way, but there are people that will do that, get all upset about it, and you can't figure out why. But... If you just stop, ask questions as to what someone was doing, you'd understand that a lot of times I see things a certain way and I definitely felt like wanting to say something to someone. But I never said the things I could have said because if I had have said the things I could have said to people, I'd have been in trouble with a lot of folks. But folks, people, listen. If you're not feeling good, don't get mad at somebody for no reason. Just calmly try to work things out with them no need in arguing about anything that don't make no sense so just i've seen it happen i've had people do me that way recently where they were out of sorts with their life so they took it upon themselves to be mad at me for no reason and i didn't know why but please don't do that to nobody i beg you for try to learn to get along with each other and if you get tired of me doing these videos with no face on it, talk to me about it. And I'll try to do the best I can so that I can look presentable to you people. But just please, folks, don't get mad about anything unless it is worth it. Unless God says get mad. Because there's no need in being upset over something small that people look at you like, What? I love you folks, but y'all got to quit getting all upset. And if people judge you by what you do every day of your life, you need to tell some of them folks, if they can't get it right with their own life, they don't need to be trying to tell you you're wrong all the time if you're not. You're wrong when you're wrong and you're right when you're right. It's not that you're wrong 24 hours a day and no one wants to take you seriously and this and that and the other. It's that people just don't have a sense of, look, you did something you shouldn't have done. And then they, if God told them to say something about it, they should. If God told them not to, don't worry about it. Best thing to do is quit getting all upset about it. It don't do you no good to get mad about something. I'm sorry if you're taking it wrong. I'm sorry if you don't like what you hear or see. But you got to understand, world, if you don't do what you're supposed to, how in the world are you going to get anywhere? Well, dear Lord God and Jesus, I pray to you that all people will stop the fussing and fighting. Try to learn to get along with each other. Try to learn to get along with each other. And I pray for my mom. I pray for everybody in the world. I pray for myself. I pray for our governments and everybody to get well in all aspects of their life. And please, folks, I pray that you'll stop the fussing and fighting. Start trying to mend and heal and get along. In your name I pray. Amen, 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 amen.